dumela uh, politically incorrect. Uh, how, was, how was the work for today? Is this supper? Was it breakfast? Is it lunch? Uh, we started here as early as half past six. Yes. We had our breakfast, we had our uh, lunch, and then when we go home, we are going to have our supper and go home. Okay, thank you. So, what? What was the expectation today? Uh, the people that you thought are going to come, did you do home visits? Yes, we did. We did home visit. Participated in terms of registering people for special votes. That's why we are here. We are expecting a lot of numbers of special votes. Today we have registered only 50. Only 50 people came up to so far. We are waiting for the final stats for 5 o'clock. But up to this, out of this 50, already our 30 people who we registered them, they, are, they already came to our table and also voted. So we are expecting more tomorrow. So in this 50, uh, you already have majority and that's very good for, for day one of the elections. Were you able to fetch others who did not want to vote at home but wanted to vote here on location? Did you already fetch others? Yes, we had a team that is, was prepared to go and fetch people. We know that out of people that we have registered, this one is going to have a home visit. This one registered for special vote for certain reasons because it's not only old people who register for uh, uh, special votes. Others, even young people, we had more than 10 young people who voted on special vote because on Wednesday they would be here. So we had transport to go and pick students as far as Madeira to come and register, uh, to come and vote, to come and cast their vote. I was at the <clears throat> at the uh, youth activation uh, in town, uh, and I know the EFF has done preparations, and I know other political parties have done preparations as well for uh, is it Section 12A, uh, where they have to notify the they have to notify the IEC that they will not be at their uh, registered location. How are you dealing with that? Are you having members? Have you already had complaints about that? Yes, that uh, actually Section 24A that deals with uh, people who are registered in other VD. Let's say, for an example, you are registered in Ekurleni, but you realize that on the day of election you will be here in uh, Pretoria. in Pretoria. So we had a lot of that. Most of the people were not aware of that because, remember previously, when you are around South Africa, you are allowed to vote, but if you are outside the province, you are given one ballot. So it was a challenge, but we tried as much as we can after getting that information to go around and change a lot of people. Even the situation now is that if you are registered in Pumalanga and you apply for Section 24A, when you come here, you're only going to get one ballot. So we had that situation and we still have other people who are still asking about that. Simply means the IEC and political party, we did not do enough because this election are different from the previous election. People still believe that if you are outside of your province, you are going to get one ballot papers. But we did our best. All right, no, that's good work for you. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it because I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it working. Uh, who are you with? I see you've got other fighters. Uh, anyone who wants to greet us and tell tell us if they voted today or they are just working. Anyone? Here's a mic. Anyone? Just tell us your name and say name where you're from. Let's hear. <laughs> How? <laughs> All of them are afraid, eh, man? <laughs> Okay, sharp. So most of these guys are volunteers who are here. <laughs> yeah, most of them are volunteers who wake up very early in the morning because one of the principles of an a party agent of the EFF is that you must never, never be late, especially when it comes to work. You must be as early as possible. So we really appreciate their effort. We value them. That's why we are here with them to make sure that all our, all our votes are protected and will be here from today up until Wednesday or Thursday as, as, during the time when we finish to count votes. So all of us, we are here ready to protect the gains of the EFF because the work, we have done the work. The only thing that is left is to protect what we have worked for. No, thank you very much. Please uh, remind our, our our viewers who are you and where you from. Uh, my name is Khabo Mutata. I'm from Pretoria West, Ward 60. 
so under Tswan region. So we are just here to protect our our votes. We have worked very hard. If we can be here, our gains will be something else. We know that our votes are not safe if we are not here. That's why we made sure that no matter it's cold or it's hot, we'll be here until the end. Last one in closing. I have done a podcast where I illustrate... Uh, the Commander-in-Chief Julius Mandela must trust in the political process, how he understands it, and comparing it with others who do not understand. As we speak, there are people who are charged, who are going to be charged for interfering with uh, election processes, logistics, and also operations. Uh, how, how, how trusting are you of the process and the understanding of the elections as a party and of yourself, what you, what you have seen today? Uh, up to so far where we are today, the process was smooth, everything went well, everything went well, we don't have any complaint. We have trust in the process of, of, of the legal fraternity of South Africa, let's allow the IEC to deal with the matter. We believe that they will deal with this matter with distinctions. We don't want anything that will disrupt this election because we are here for victory. We are ready for victory. We don't want to disrupt our own victory. So we believe that the IEC will deal with those issues of logistics and the law will take its course. We don't want anything that is going to disturb us. We are on the road to union building. So we don't want anything that is going to give us problem. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for people to check if uh, and also for parties to know that as so and so come and, and, and reported for, for voting. If not, the transports will go and fetch them as they have. That is why we are saying with whatever that we have now, we will fight uh, because we have worked the ground. We are ready to, to, to change uh, the, 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 the situation in the Eastern Cape and in, in South Africa as a whole. But the people that were looting here in the morning were, yes, in EFF regalia, and one would associate, you know, what has happened here with EFF. What do you say to that? Obviously, when you see people wearing uh, EFF stuff, EFF is a protest movement. You will assume that these are uh, uh, EFF members. But by saying these are people of our area, they, they took advantage of, that is why we are not crybabies, we are saying the EFF with whatever that it has now, it will fight, the, the, but the EFF was not part, it, 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 it just got uh, affected by the, uh, by, by the protest. But we are not crybabies, we are saying that we will fight with whatever that we see here. That is remaining here. Uh, that is what is going to happen. Obviously, you, you do have members that are going to vote on a special voting yes. days today and tomorrow. And now that has not happened. Are you concerned? We are very much concerned. The situation could have been handled if ever there was a real intelligence in South Africa. Because this thing, uh, if when you follow it, you check, this thing uh, started last week. But... There is, the ANC wants this chaos so that it can steal elections. This chaos could have been, could have been avoided. It's Monday today, IEC is not open in Amtat. People who have applied and they were, they were granted you can come and vote, they are not going to vote. And they were worried. Thank you so much, Mr. Vena. That is the... Um, is the Lindy.